It's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show and Air Peninsula Netball is what we're turning our attention to next. Who better to speak to about it than a woman who is Mrs. Air Peninsula Netball, Joe Franklin. How are you? I'm doing really well, Jay. Doing really well. Just giving you a new title too. Uh, It'll stick. (laughs) It will. Thanks very much for that. (laughs) Uh, Let's uh, have a look. We've got a couple of... Uh, associations to cover now with um, Central Air United heading into Eastern Air, and that's where we're going to start. Um, This is a competition that you are very familiar with. In fact, um, your old girls, Cow, they have a fairly interesting assignment in front of them in round one. They'll uh, host Kimber Districts. Yeah, they do, and it will be very interesting because uh, Kimber have picked up a couple. Um, young Geordie McCullum, um, on top of everything else they had, they've uh, picked her up, uh, very handy little centre quarter there, and on top of the fact that they've got most of their side um, available um, from, obviously not last year, but the year before, mm. uh, so they're going to be very, very strong. You know, um, you know, any side that's got uh, Jess Clements in the goals is, uh, you know, a pretty formidable on its own, but um, yeah, with what they're going to put together the, the cowgirls uh, like I said last week I was training with them the other Thursday night and uh, Trace Mills has taken on the coaching job there again Megan Leonard um, doing the uh, the Kimber girls um, which you know so much knowledge there but uh, Trace is uh, really putting a whole new side together um, with the Cow Cup some young ones that are going to be playing A grade this season that uh, is going to be a a tough task for them but you know they can only get better which is what I was trying to work with them about is that uh, take week by week work on their their skill level and just make sure that each week they uh, they get better and uh, I'm sure that they'll they'll come along they'll be competitive there's no doubt about that um, but yeah it, it'll take them a good round um, to get organized they've got um, Shannon and Caitlin that the, the uh, Jeffries twins uh, are coming up to uh, to play a grade and uh, Laurie Turner these girls have all been in and out of the a grade as young ones but um, yeah they actually have to step up and play a grade mm. um, so um, yeah all all very interesting for them um, but yeah they've uh, Emily is back in uh, goals for them, so uh, that's you know that's a bit of a plus there. She was out having um, babies the last time, so last season. So, but yeah, she's back in in goals, which will help them there. There's no doubt about that. And they're trying to come up with um, a partner in crime, should I say, yeah. for her. So yeah, so it, it'll be interesting. Uh, uh, Kimber uh, will be way too strong this yeah, round, so. but um, mm. but you know you just can't count kids out. You know what I mean? Like they, they were keen to learn. They worked really hard the other night when I was there with them, and uh, uh, they're keen to have a crack, and that's the main thing. Well, let's see how they go this week. But, yes, Kimber, you would expect to win that. Uh, Ports have the round one bye, and uh, the, the, the next game to talk about in the A grade will be the one that we really know very little about, Eastern Rangers. Yeah. We know plenty about them. What we don't know about is the Storm, Central Air United's first A-grade clash. It's at Rudal, and uh, the Storm will come down the highway to take on the Rangers. They'll be strong. But how will Central Air United be? Uh, The merge between Woodner and Central Air, one thing we do know is they'll be tall. Well, yeah, they have got a bit of that. But um, really interesting because um, talking to Beth Sampson, who's taken on the role of coaching the uh, A grade with uh, Central Air United, and remembering that they're going to actually be able to fill five senior teams, yeah. um, which are the same as uh, talking about the Kimber Cow game, they'll be doing the same. Uh, all grades will be playing on uh, tomorrow. So, And the same with the, this match, all grades will be playing. So, you know, it's, that's huge for a place like, for an association like Eastern Air who have yep. struggled um, for a little bit. But, oh, uh, yeah, look, the Central Air United side, um, Beth uh, did send me through uh, some information and uh, they are actually bringing together five different clubs from three different associations yeah. into this one A grade side. So, uh, you know, it's a little, they've got a little bit of organising to do and they're still trying to find their way. Um, amongst that, they've got some seasoned A grade players uh, and a couple of young girls who are making their debuts and then a couple of girls who are going to actually step up into their first A grade season after spending a couple in, um, I think, in Midwest it was called B grade. Yep. Uh, yep. B grade. So, um, yeah, so they'll uh, they'll be stepping uh, through into the A grade. But, you know, Abby Bruce in goals, 
as you said, height <laughs> and yeah. and strength. So she'll be pretty handy in there. And Mel Skinner um, on the wing through the uh, through the centre court, uh, a bit of knowledge there and a fair bit of skill. So um, that will be handy through that area. And then they've got Keely again talking about height, Keely Bruce uh, and Kylie Scholes in the defence end. So um, they will match up pretty well. Um, Eastern Rangers have had a little bit of a changing of the guard this uh, this season. Um, Kelly Cret. Has uh, Kelly Crittenden has taken on coaching the A grade and good on her. Um, can I just say, just, uh, I'm just so happy myself to have so many of the young girls who have come through our academy programs and the other sorts of things that we've done on S Peninsula to now start to step up and take on um, coaching roles. Um, it's just fantastic and uh, yeah. a great feeling um, for those of us who have uh, dealt with those. But Kelly's stepping up and taking the um, Rangers uh, A grade and uh, they've got uh, young Nicole Symes who um, is going to step in there and uh, yeah a little bit of the changing their guard no Fiona Evans because obviously they're down the southeast yep. so it will be very interesting to see what they do eventually put together I know that they've still been trying a few things and uh, didn't actually have a final uh, rundown for uh, for us for this week just yet um, with school holidays of course Playing the middle weekend of the school holidays is always a little bit of a worry, um, but uh, I'm sure that they would they'll be competitive. There's there's no doubt about that. And of course, uh, 2019 premiers, so uh, they'll be wanting to back that up. I have no doubt, and they'll be wanting to show the new kids on the block that uh, that they're certainly worthwhile. Any, <laughs> any tip in this game is a guess. Let's be honest. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I'm going to tip with the heart and go with the new club, essentially United, to start in a fairy tale. Let's hope it happens that way for them. Joe. So hang around uh, because you're doing double time tonight. That's a look at what's happening there for the Central Air United crew. But I want to have a look at Western Districts Elliston in Great Flinders after the break. It is the Flow Friday Night Sports Show.